Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Susana here. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using a lot, a lot of new products. Several of these are actually going to be a first impression, so they're still in their little boxes. So I'm really, really excited to dig into these items. But I am going to start off with foundation. I already went ahead and primed my face. I used the Tatcha, the Silk, the Liquid Silk Canvas primer you guys already know i love that primer and for foundation today i'm actually using this one from one size i purchased this during the sephora sale i put it away and i could not find it for the life of me truly i thought i had thrown it out yesterday i discovered it very randomly so i did go ahead and crack it open yesterday and let me tell you guys i was really really impressed with it so again it's from one size it's called the turn up the base bbb cream and i have the shade light 3m as you can see as typical bb creams this is quite thick but it actually applies and blends in very beautifully i'm going to use my standout um finger majigger i don't know what this is called like foamy thing uh to go ahead and apply this and i'm telling you guys i was impressed immediately with this foundation it gives like a high medium coverage i ended up wearing it for about eight and a half hours and i feel like it wore really really well now i do get oily on my t-zone the days here are getting hotter so that is a definitely to be expected but i don't think it was bad at all there was no breakup on my foundation um really just nothing to be concerned about it looked really really good so there is just a layer on my left cheek here and a little bit on my chin I mean, I think it looks wonderful. It says it has a natural finish. Kind of. It's kind of a natural matte, I would say. It's not like a drying matte, I don't think. Um, but the coverage it provides is so, so good. And yeah, you guys, I mean, again, I just used it once, but I was highly, highly impressed. Now with products like this, although this is considered, I guess it's more described as like a hybrid foundation and a BB cream, I would say it's more like a foundation in the sense that, uh, like with applying. I think a lot of times with BB creams, you can apply with your fingers. I'm not sure maybe this is something I should be applying with my fingers, um, but I kind of find it to be a little bit too thick to do that. So with thicker products i do like to go in with a sponge or something like this okay so this is how we're looking i think this covered up most of my imperfections pretty well this is not a product that i would personally layer on so i'm just gonna leave this as is i do have this tiny um like scab <laughs> but it looks like a birthmark so i'm gonna leave it as is i actually don't don't mind it at all um okay the only other product that i have that it's not going to be a first impression for today is the concealer so these are actually the newest concealers in my collection i'm pretty sure they are from dior it's their dior backstage flash perfecto concealers so i'm a huge fan of their color correct concealers i think those are wonderful they work great around the entire face i actually own those in multiple shades so i went ahead and picked this up in multiple shades as well just so that i can brighten with one and conceal imperfections around the face with the other so i have 2n as well as 3n i think i'm just gonna stick with 2n today and then we'll see if i feel like it's too bright for me i'll go ahead and add a little bit of the darker shade so this one comes with a different type of applicator this is not something i've really ever seen before when it comes to foundation or concealers it has a little brush personally i don't mind it i'm not sure if it's been a problem for anybody i do go ahead and use this directly on my under eyes as this is a product that i just use on myself um i like this i wouldn't say i like it as much as the forever skin Care concealer i mean that is just a holy girl of mine but it's up there this is definitely more of a thinner formula the coverage isn't quite as high but i think more so for like an everyday use this has worked out beautifully and i actually kind of find the packaging a little cute of course if it falls it's going to roll off of your vanity but it's nice keep in mind this is part of the 
a backstage collection and that collection is made with makeup artists in mind. So those are always going to be packaged in much more simpler packaging, something that's a lot more portable, you know, just easy to carry around and that won't break easily or whatnot. Um, so okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a brush to blend this in, or at least to start to. And then I like to drag down my concealer a little bit because Otherwise, I'll just look super bright right under the eyes, and it's just not a cute look. I'm going to go in with the sponge, or this, whatever this is. Just further blend. And that brightened pretty nicely. Again, it gives a pretty nice coverage. I would say it's more of a medium coverage, a little bit on the lighter side of medium, but... Still, this is something that I actually am comfortable building up. One little layer, nothing too excessively. I wouldn't add too much more. But if I do find that I want to conceal a little bit better, I will go ahead and add just a dad bit more where I feel that I need it. I'll go ahead and just add a little bit more of this. Okay, so this is how the complexion is looking so far. I'm pretty happy with how we're doing. Moving forward, everything else here is going to be a first impressions. Now I did go ahead and pick up the new Westman Atelier Vital Pressed Skin Care Powder. So this does have a ton of skincare benefits in it. Um, honestly, when it comes to makeup, Especially like powders because I feel like you're applying over other makeup products. I don't really care about the hype of skincare, just me personally, um, because I'm not I'm not one to reap the benefits off of that. You know, I I have a huge makeup collection, so I don't really always stick, or I rarely ever stick with just one product, um, just because I like to you know change it up. I have. I have the ability to, so yeah, for me, skincare and makeup is just really not something I care very much about. But yeah, here is how it comes in this cute little pouch. Now this comes in several different shades. I picked up the shade Pink Bubble. So this here is the packaging. Very beautiful, super weighty, just like her um, highlighters come in a packaging like this. Very beautiful. They're all very weighty. It is an extremely luxurious brand and you can see that. You can feel it. I absolutely love Westman Atelier. Um, this actually also has a little hole in the back because there will be replaceable pans, which I think is wonderful. So this is what the inside looks like. I hope it's not too bright for you guys to see. I'll go ahead and do just a swatch, I guess, to see how that's gonna look so i am expecting this to brighten my under eyes when it comes to powders the number one thing i care about is how it's going to set my makeup so i wanted to set it well where it looks nice and smooth it gives that airbrushed look and it feels even smooth to the touch and sometimes, especially with a pressed powder like this, I do expect it to give me or provide me with some brightening effect. So that's why I was really excited to try this one out. For pressed powders, I don't necessarily expect them to give me a lot of longevity with my makeup or even keep my oils at bay. Usually loose powders are more intended for that purpose. Using my Wayne Goss, um, I think this is the airbrush brush. I'm gonna dip in here. Okay, picked up quite a bit there. And then I've been talking for a little bit, so let me just make sure. Okay, I don't have a lot of creasing going on. If you don't like to set your under eyes, or if you have dry under eyes, actually, this is a really good concealer. Um, but for me, I do have a lot of wrinkles down here. I have a lot of wrinkles around my eyes. So setting is vital. All right, so I'll go ahead and just tap this on. And really just in the areas where I would want to brighten. Well, I should just do one side first to see how it compares. Okay, it definitely brightened. It added a little bit of a pink hue. Um, nothing exaggerated, I would say. But more, yeah, in a very wearable way. 
okay that looks really nice so yeah that looks really good can you guys hopefully see it did smooth out my skin a little bit to the touch okay, it's a little bit more silky not too much i still feel a little bit of the tackiness from the foundation also it is extremely hot in this room i'm honestly starting to sweat a little bit that's the reason why i have my hair up today because with all this hair that i have having it down was just not gonna happen so that's another reason why i know my skin gets a little bit tacky but i think it looks really nice let me add just a little bit more so just down here okay i like that i like that a lot all right so picking up some more product for the other eye and then i'm also going to do just the t-zone and i'm not going to set the rest of my face because I am going to use a cream bronzer. Now, honestly, most of the cream bronzers that I own work really well, even if I powder. Um, of course, I wouldn't recommend to do a heavy powder, but still, if I do like a light duster on my face, I, for the most part, don't have issues with my cream, liquid, uh, bronzers, and blushes as well. So I would expect this bronzer to perform well over you know, a lightly set face. But I'm really only going to set the T-zone just because I don't want to brighten up too much using this specific powder. Um, depending how it performs, maybe I'll pick up the shade Creme, I believe. Or is it cream? I think it's Creme. Um, that's the one suited for light to medium skin tones. And that I think I would be, you know, quite comfortable using around the face. But this only in the center where I do want to add a little bit of brightness. Okay, so now that I'm looking at this a little bit closer, I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it on camera, perhaps not because it is very, very light. There is a little bit of a reflection, like little, little tiny, tiny shimmer particles. And like when I say tiny, I mean microscopic. So of course, it's going to help with adding a little bit of radiance to your skin, adding a little bit more of that natural look. I personally don't mind it as long as, as long as it's not glitter, I'm okay with a little bit of shimmer again for that radiant purpose. And uh, yeah, I feel like that provide this provides that. It is very, very difficult to detect. I had not even noticed it the first time around until right now that I'm looking closer and I applied it and I did go ahead and apply it on the majority of my face that um, there is a little bit of shimmer, but again, it's not a shimmer that I would say steer clear from, and it's not one that's going to enhance your texture. As a matter of fact, I feel like it kind of did help give a little bit of that airbrushed look. So, so far we're good with this. And then this next product I'm of course super excited about is the new bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. This is called the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed, Sun Kissed, okay, let's do that again. It's called the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer smoothing healthy looking glow cream bronzer for face and body all right so this comes in maybe four four or five different shades i don't quite remember i picked up shade two medium and i also picked up the brush so the brush here is just a beautiful skin bronzing brush it says on the side my fine art inspired bronzing brush has been expertly crafted to effortlessly fan over the face for a seamless sun-kissed beachy bronzed glow okay well we will see this is how the brush looks it's a tiny little guy that you can just sit on your vanity it's actually really nice and soft okay i'm a little bit hmm. i'm very curious as to how this is going to work with a cream bronzer by the way the packaging of this bronzer this is beautiful. It looks huge, but of course, because it is for the face and body, I actually have a larger brushes that I use to apply bronzer around my body. So this is the perfect size for those other brushes that I have. Um, wow, this is, this is very pretty. So you get a sizable mirror. I mean, same size as the packaging. And that is how the bronzer looks. Again, this is in the shade medium. So let me go ahead and 
swatch this. Oh, it feels, feels nice. Okay, so it feels almost like putty. It reminds me, I want to feel it again, hold on. Hmm. Maybe not as bouncy, but a little bit like the, I think they were called the Cloud Blushes from MAC. Um, also, Bare Minerals has, or they used to have, I'm not sure if they still have them either, um, the Bouncy Blushes. It feels a little bit like that as well, except maybe this is a little bit more creamier than those two products. So let's go ahead and apply this. So I'm just going to run my brush around this. I kind of feel like, well, we'll see. I feel like it's not picking up a ton of product, but it's it's a little hard to tell. Let me go ahead and just kind of tap it on. Oh, this is a really easy way to apply bronzer, like cream bronzer. This brush feels so soft. It feels really, really nice. Okay, that's a good color for me. It picked up a good amount of product. Go ahead and grab a little bit more. I did press it into the pan a little bit harder than I did um, previously. Okay, I definitely picked up quite a bit more there. So I can see that this is going to be more of a buildable type of bronzer, which I think it's great. I think buildable products are just always better because you have more control but they are usually a little bit more time consuming, which I personally don't mind because when I do my makeup, I like to take my time. Sometimes I walk out, I'm like, I didn't even do anything special. Why did it take me so long? But I just like taking my time doing my makeup. Yeah, I'm impressed with both the bronzer and the brush. I'm very, very happy with the color of this bronzer. It's just adding a nice warmthness to my face. It looks very natural. It doesn't have, it's like a matte, it's a matte finish. So it's not gonna provide a glow in the sense that the powder has, again, those small uh, shimmers. This does not seem to have that, but I think just the finish is so natural and kind of just melts right into the skin where your skin looks healthy and glowy. I mean, that's how I feel like my skin is looking right now. Like, I am utterly happy with the shade. And you guys, I have a ton, a ton of cream bronzers that I love. So I, I'm excited to get to know this product a little bit better as well, just to see how it's going to compare with my other cream bronzers. Maybe that's another video I can do too, is where I just rank on my cream bronzers by the way i know um nars came out with their laguna cream bronzers again um this one actually this guy they actually came out with several different shades this time last time i think they only had uh two shades it was laguna and i forgot which other one um this is so so wonderful love it but it's very different to what we're using today so maybe i will do a video comparing and ranking my bronzers but I just wanted to let you guys know if you've been interested in that NARS cream bronzer they're back okay guys I'm I'm impressed okay I am impressed I'm very happy with how all of this is turning out um for blush this is something to have I've had I don't know if I've had it since the sale I think I bought it right after the sale but I just put it aside I've been wanting to film for a while but I kind of explained my last video why I've been so absent. Um, so I just put it aside and I hadn't touched this as well as the lipstick for whatever reason. I really didn't have, a, I wasn't really even planning on doing like a first impressions video. But anyway, it just worked out this way. I don't think I've tried anything from this brand, Say. I might be pronouncing that incorrectly, so apologies. It's called the Dew Blush. This is the packaging. And I'm not sure if I said, but the the shade I picked up is spicy. Oh, I was trying to pull off the cap. It's a twist off. So this is a very nice warm shade. Ooh, 
I really like this shade. I'm not sure how it's going to look with the eyeshadow palette that we're going to use today, but you know, sometimes with first impressions, the makeup look doesn't quite make sense, but it's just about talking about the products individually and just getting, getting to know them. I'm saying that a lot today. I need to stop. All right. So I'm trying to dip it. Should I just go straight in with this? Why not? So just, I don't know how much of this I need. Kind of feel like yeah, this is more of a sheer product, but it's still quite pigmented, at least this shade is. And yeah, with these type of blushes, I don't find that I need highlight anyway. Oh, it looks really nice. I kind of wish, I like the shade, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's pretty. But I just feel like I'm more into brighter blushes these days. Just something to really liven up my makeup look. But for a nice summer, even for a bronzy look, this is really nice. And I'm sorry, my dogs are just going insane today. Oh, anyway, that's just how it is. All right, guys. The skin is looking really, really, really good. Um, I kind of feel like the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use today is a very ba-bang eyeshadow palette, very pigmented. It is the newest one from Pat McGrath. Here we are quite some time later, uh, finally using the new Bridgerton uh, collab with Pat McGrath. This one's called the Mothership Belle of the Ball palette. I'm going to be honest, I only bought this oops, because I really, really loved this shade. I just... The swatches of this shade just completely took my breath away. I'm not sure what I should do today because I feel like if I do that gold eyeshadow, um, it's going to be too much with this fresh looking skin. You know what? We'll just play with this eyeshadow palette and see, see what comes out of it. So first things first, a little bit of primer. Actually, let me do some swatches for you guys. Sorry. I'm just assuming you all have seen this palette a gazillion times. You probably have, but if just in case not, or since it probably has been a while now, uh, y'all are probably interested in some swatches and I myself have not swatched this. Wow. This eyeshadow. It's like one of her special eyeshadows. Is why well, can't I point right? It's gorgeous. I'm looking at my viewfinder, so it's hard to do a proper correlation there. Wow, that is so beautiful. It's called Diamonds Desire. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is an interesting formula. That minty one. Oh god. This you guys is a beauty. Okay, I know I need to put this on my eyes first, but I'm already very happy that I bought this palette. I'm gonna use my Surratt uh, blending brush. I think this is their large one. Um, just because it adds pigment very softly, and I'm gonna go in with this one satin shade right here called Regency, no, called Regency Romance. So this here. And this is just gonna go straight into the crease. I just want a wash of this color. So I'm actually going to use my Surratt shadow brush to go in with that antique gold. It's called Forever Charmed. Look at how beautiful that is. And a little bit goes a long way. I mean, her eyeshadows are really great, especially her shimmer shadows. Her mattes, I find they're good. They can be a little bit more difficult to work with, especially if you're a newbie with makeup. But her, her shimmers, her metallics, like these special shades are just a dream. Okay, you know what, with the same brush that's going with this, Beautiful shade, no, here, this one right here. These can have some fallout, so be careful with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in the center. I'm gonna go in with that minty shade called Daring Dang, this one right here. And this is going to go in the bottom lash line. Definitely 100% use this palette prior to doing your face makeup because I do have quite a bit of fallout. 
now I am seeing glitter on my face, so that is something to keep in mind. Now into this shade here called Refinement. I'm gonna do the inner corner, add a little bit of highlight there. And okay, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, apply some mascara, finish off my eyebrows, and then we'll be right back to do the lipstick. All right guys, so now for the final step, lipstick. So I picked up the Natasha Denona I Need a Rose Lipstick. It is a voluptuous cream lip color. I have the shade 20P, which is CUNY. And, ooh, this is very nice packaging. So I haven't tried any of her lipsticks in a very, very long time. I know she came out with like a nude collection. I do not recall the name. The shade that I picked up in that collection, I did not like much, so I don't really ever reach for it. Um, but this one really, really intrigued me. Um, I have, I love lipsticks, you guys. I'm trying not to buy so many because I have such a huge lipstick collection and I currently decluttered a ton. I'm just going to go straight in with the lipstick just because I want to know how it looks on its own. Um, in the future, I'll probably pair it with a lip liner. Okay, so that's actually a very nice shade. I love the scent of these. Love the packaging. The formula feels really nice and comfortable. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and apply a little bit of lip liner just kind of over top because it is too light for me and I feel like it's not, it's not looking quite right. But I do like the shade. So I have the Pat McGrath uh, Suburbia Liner. All right guys, so here is the final look. Truly, truly, I was gonna go and you know pick up each product and give you guys my first impressions on them like uh, you know a little mini review but i don't I, I i don't think i need to you know i liked all of this um honestly i loved it i love how the look came out overall i was a little bit afraid that the eyeshadow wasn't going to work out with the rest of my makeup but i actually think it worked out really beautifully this eyeshadow is gorgeous i'm loving how my skin is looking very nice and healthy. Again, if you guys see any glitter, it's from the fallout from the eyeshadow. Uh, so that's the only downfall, but that's that's just how her special eyeshadows work. If you want to get this kind of gleam um, on the eyes, if you want to get this kind of just beautiful, beautiful shimmer, you're going to have to deal with a little bit of fallout. So that's just how the game works sometimes. But I think it's wonderful. Um, I'm happy with everything. Love the foundation, love the bronzer. Really happy with the powder. I'm gonna keep using this. You guys, let me know what you think about these products in the comments down below. I'm definitely planning on doing a follow-up video fairly soon, so I will keep, I'm gonna keep these items out of my vanity so that um, I continue to reach for them. But because I haven't been filming, doesn't mean that I haven't been using makeup. So I have quite a few products that I just wanna talk about and share my thoughts with you guys. So I'll make sure to also include what I use today to share with you guys my final thoughts and just how they've continued to work out for me. So all right guys, and that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you like this, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. Until next time.